come on in, welcome to my home. First things first, I have to tell you right away that I got this uh, product for free. So yeah, you need to know that going in. However, they did not tell me what to say about this product. So why am I calling it this product? Okay, let's talk about what it is, why I, why I use it, and where all it went. All right, to begin with, here was kind of a problem. If you know anything about the way my house is situated, my mom and I are neighbors and we have a connecting area and the connecting area goes through the garage. Now the one of the problems is it can be sometimes kind of dark and when mom's out in the garage it can be kind of dark. The light is an overpowered fluorescent light which is a warm white light. And it's okay. I mean it worked just fine. No problem there. But I wanted something, you know, a little bit brighter, a little bit better, because there are some dark corners that she has in her garage. So I decided, nope, we needed something different. And then when I got the opportunity to review this product, I was like, okay, cool, I need to review it. All right, so what I ordered was the Pure Shine LED Garage Light. It came in a two pack, and when it arrived, it arrived just like I expected it would. These are lights which they can be each individual panel because the light is consistent consist of three LED panels which once it is screwed in, which I'm not going to insult you to show you how a light screws in. I think you can figure that one out on your own. But once it's screwed in, you can then tilt the LED panels so that it will shine into the areas that you want. I really liked that feature. And at first a lot of people, some of my friends were saying, you know, well what difference does that make? I mean, your other light was just adequate. And I agree, the other light was just adequate. So I was trying to solve a problem which really wasn't a problem, but it was just an annoyance. There were dark shadows. So this way, if we put the LED in and suddenly it's bright. I mean, it really is bright. I can honestly say that the light is much brighter than I even thought it would ever be. That is one of the really cool things. You can see out in the garage very, very well. I was in fact impressed with how well that I can see, and mom said sometimes when she forgets that it's out there, that it'll come on and it will be almost too bright at times. Now this makes it so much easier to go out to that garage and find those little things that have a tendency to like fall down someplace or you just need to find them somewhere in there. You can turn it on at the absolute darkest of night and it is like you're working in a daylight area. I can honestly truly say that this was one of those lights that I really did like. I was surprised at how much I was impressed with the light fixture of it because it did. It did everything that I wanted it to do, gave me extra light, gave me the daylight because I'm not a big fan of warm white even though these lights are set to warm white. That's normally not what they are set to. They are normally set to daylight because I think that gives a better representation of the colors that are out there. And she has a tendency to store things like beads and that sort of stuff out in the garage and she can see her beads a little bit better that way. And I can see going through her garage so that I don't trip over things as I go from one room to the other, one place to the other. But it's so much nicer to just have a light which you can just screw in and it's ready to go. It goes into a normal light fixture, you just screw it in, then tilt the uh, little LED panels to wherever you want and voila! It is done. It is ready to go and it really will give you the extra light that you need. Now, a lot of people are like, well, is it motion sensor? No, it is not a motion sensor. It is just a switch light, so you just switch it on, and there you go. It is ready to go right out of the box, and that's something which you can think about. It's something that you, will, you would want to put it in a place where you really do need the extra light without the extra bulk, because that's the other thing to think about. What was up there was a fluorescent tube light, a uh, fluorescent light, and the fluorescent light was great except when you try to move a ladder because you'd always have to think well how close am I to that and I always worried about the fluorescent bulb breaking uh, this I'm not as worried about it does mount just up to the ceiling so it does not come down too far from the ceiling no further than a normal light would so I do I can honestly say this one I recommend this one I think is a great light it does exactly what it's supposed to do 
and uh, since I've had this for now for a while, it's become just a daily part of, you know, turn on the light, go through the garage, it's wonderful, and I can actually be out there at night and find what I want. So those are the things I was looking for in this light, and those are the things that I found. So I am definitely going to give this five out of five aprons. I thought this was great. The only change that I would make to this light, which I don't know if this kind of light even exists, if it had a motion sensor and a light sensor, so that it would sense the motion and then come on if it were dark. That's the only change I would make. And I'm not even sure that kind of light would come, I'm not even sure that kind of light exists. But other than that, this light is perfect for what I want. It's just, it, I mean, it's just one of those things where put it up, take it out of the box, put it up, and you are ready to go. No fiddling, no anything. Check out this light. It is linked down in the description. And like I said, this was a paid promotion, but they did not pay me to say that I actually like this light. And I can honestly say, I actually like this light. In fact, all the lights that I've tested out, I do really, really like because I'm still using, like, all of them. So that's something. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think about this and where you would use it because I've also thought about putting this in my closet because when I film in there, it would be sort of nice to have it there. Uh, but we'll, let, we'll, find, we'll figure out that and I do have an extra light that I can put someplace else. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope I get to see you again next time you stop by.